Hi fudgies and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. Today I have lots of fun but easy lunch ideas to share with you. And I'm super excited because today we've asked another mystery YouTube family to choose our lunches for us. Our mystery family is... That's right, it's the Bingham family. If you're not already subscribed to them, you definitely should go check them out. This family of seven is super fun, they're super energetic, and I really love that in all of their videos, they like to focus on finding the positive in every situation. I'll go ahead and put a link to their channel in the description box below, so don't forget to go check them out. Now before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get on to the lunches that the Bingham family chose for us this week. For our first Bingham lunch this week, I'm starting off with a very colorful sandwich. To my rainbow bread, I'm gonna go ahead and add some chunky peanut butter, but then on the other side of the bread, I'm going to add Nutella. Next, to make this sandwich even more delicious, I'm going to add some slices of banana. Just a few. I think this is a really tasty combination that we don't normally have. Since it is December after all, I'm gonna use my Christmas tree cookie cutter to make this sandwich even more festive. And there it is, a peanut butter, Nutella, and banana sandwich. And now I just have to make two more. Ta-da! <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to our colorful lunch boxes. One, two, three. I just love this swirl bread, it's so fun. Next up we have our vegetable today and the Binghams chose baby carrots. And of course, to go along with the carrots, you guys know what's in these containers, right? Now you guys, the fruit today is gonna have to be some navel oranges. And that's because I was supposed to get grapes, the Binghams chose grapes, but when I was at Trader Joe's, they had no grapes. So we're going with oranges instead. For today's lunch, I'm also including a snack, which is going to be this tiny bag of Hello Panda cookies. These are basically a chocolate cream filled biscuit. I got these at Costco in a huge box. This is definitely a snack that both the Bingham family and the Fudge family are big fans of. Now in this last container is where I normally put the treat. I know my kids will be super excited to see it because it's cotton candy. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had cotton candy in your school lunch. I'm guessing it's probably not very common. Definitely a fun once in a while treat. And then last but not least, I also have a special drink for today's lunch. The Binghams chose eggnog. Now that is everything in today's lunch, but it's not looking colorful enough for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my jar of picks and with my eyes closed, I'm gonna choose one of these picks for each lunch. So it's completely random. And now I'm ready to get my lids on and after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, well, lunch time is over and it's time to see how they did. What'd you guys think? It was awesome. It was good. But what wasn't good? The oranges, they were so sour. Mm -hmm. They are, look at these oranges. They almost look like lemons. They're yellow and not even orange. So Lily opened hers and then the other kids, what, you decided not to eat them? No. Yeah. I probably could take these back to Trader Joe's, but I don't know if I want to make a special trip or not. What did you think about the sandwiches? I really liked it. It was so yummy. Lily, what was your favorite? Um, the cotton candy. <laughs> cotton candy. It was, was it? yummy. Yeah, that cotton candy has been in our pantry for six months. I forgot it was there. Did yeah, it... but it's still yummy. Okay. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday. For today's lunch, I'm gonna start by heating up some Joe's O's. I'm gonna get them nice and hot and then add them into the thermoses. Next, I'm going to add some cucumbers and some tomatoes to today's lunch, but to make them extra fun, I'm going to cut them a little bit differently. I'm actually using an apple corer to remove the center of the cucumber, and then I'm sticking my cherry tomato inside that hole. This is not very hard to do, but it definitely makes it look really fun. Next, I'm going to add our fruit of the day, which is grapes. I went back to the store and finally got the grapes that I needed yesterday. And then I'm also gonna add just a few blueberries. I just have a few of these left, so I'm adding them to my really cute emoji picks. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add our special treat of the day, which is going to be one single crumb crunch donut. By now, you guys can probably guess what the theme of this lunch is. Let me know in the comments down below if you've figured it out. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a small container of ranch. In this next container, I'm going to add a handful of black olives. It's been a long time since I've put black olives in lunch, and I'm pretty sure all the kids still like olives, but I guess we'll find out. Next, I'm adding a special snack. This is a chip that the kids have never tried before. They're called Funyuns. I definitely remember eating these in middle school. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried these. I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids just a few each because I don't know if they're gonna like them and they don't usually eat a whole bag of chips by themselves. Just a couple is enough for them. So here's everything in the lunchbox. Of course, I am throwing in the Joe O's in the thermos. I am gonna remember to take a quick picture so I can post it on the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. Then I'm gonna pack up this lunch and we will head out the door. Okay friends, lunchtime is over and right now I just have Mackenzie with me. Say hi. Hi. So what did you think of today's circle themed lunch? I really liked it. What was your favorite part? The Jozos. The Jozos, yep. They're just like SpaghettiOs, but I think they're a little bit better. But you can tell that there's a lot of grapes left over. I see a few tomatoes and I see that Lily and Jackson did not eat very many of their Funyun chips. And that's usually why I don't give them a whole bag because they don't usually eat a whole bag of chips. So that's why we split them so that they don't go to waste. But I see the olives are gone, the donuts are gone for sure. So overall, not too bad. Was there a problem with the grapes today? No, but they were really big for some reason. Those, those are really big grapes. Oh well. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi fudgies and welcome to Wednesday. Today the Binghams have chosen a Grinch themed lunch. I'm gonna start by making a heart shaped sandwich because his heart is two sizes too small. Now we actually haven't seen the new Grinch movie. You have to let me know if you've seen it and if you liked it or not. But anyway, back to today's lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this honey pecan cream cheese. But to make it even more Grinch like, I'm gonna add a little bit of green food coloring. Next, I'm going to add some thinly sliced green apple to our sandwiches. I love the combination of cream cheese and crispy apples in a sandwich. It's kind of different, but I like it. We'll see what the kids think though. So I'll go ahead and add my slices of apple and then I'm gonna add my top bread. My top bread has a little peekaboo window in there. I think it's so cute. Now to go along with today's lunch, I'm also gonna make a little Grinch themed fruit stick. You've probably seen these on Pinterest. They're very popular this time of year. All you need for this is a toothpick. You're gonna need some slices of banana, a strawberry, a green grape, and a mini marshmallow. So I'm adding all of these to my pick. And as you can kind of see, it looks like the Grinch's head with a little Santa hat on top. I think the trick to this is you have to find smaller strawberries. Otherwise, it's kind of hard. So to our Grinch themed lunch boxes, I'll go ahead and put in the sandwich that we made. Then in this back corner, I'm gonna add our fruit sticks. Next, in the back corner, I'm going to add a little bit of lime Greek yogurt. This is perfect for today's lunch because it's already green, just like the Grinch, and it's a little bit sour too, also like the Grinch. Next, to make our yogurt look even more fun, I'm gonna add a few green sprinkles on top, and then I'm going to add a teeny tiny red heart-shaped sprinkle. Now this also reminds me of the Grinch because his heart is supposed to be two sizes too small, just like this tiny sprinkle. Now for our vegetable today, I really thought about adding Brussels sprouts because I think Brussels sprouts are kind of green and stinky like the Grinch, but I didn't think my kids would appreciate having Brussels sprouts in their lunch. So instead, I'm just going to add some broccoli, which they usually like, but not always. Now for our special treat today, I was gonna make these Grinch cookies. I found these on our trip to Georgia and I brought them all the way home, but the cookies broke. 
So instead, I'm going with plan B. That cookie kit came with these edible pictures that were supposed to go on the cookie. So instead, I will peel them off and stick them to my sandwich. I think they're really cute. And now for plan B, I found this really cute Grinch Rice crispy Treat Kit. That's really hard to say. Rice crispy Treat Kit at Walmart and it comes with everything that I need to make them. So these were actually made earlier in the day, so they're nice and set up now. I can add them to the lunch. Now that is definitely a lot of green in today's lunch. And of course, when lunchtime is over, I'll let you know what the kids thought. Okay guys, what do you think of the Grinch lunch? I really liked it, it was cool. But it looks like I might have packed too much. Because mm -hmm. I see Jackson and Lily, you still have a lot of sandwich left. Mm -hmm. You didn't like it, or were oh, you just no. full? It was too high for me to bite. Too hard I to like bite? I like the apples. Yeah, I thought I made this really cool design, but then it kind of just fell apart. So next time I would just leave it without the little window. But what about you, Kenzie? I liked the sandwich. But not the apples? You didn't no. eat the apples. You picked them out. But everything else looks pretty good. We have a little bit of broccoli left. There's a little bit of yogurt in there. Kenzie, you didn't eat your yogurt? No, I don't like lime yogurt. It's too sour. You don't like it? That's okay. But these two liked it. What was your favorite part? Um, I liked the yogurt and the Rice Krispie Treats. Yeah, those are so good. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Daddy actually made those? No. Yes. He did. Your daddy makes really good food. He's a good cook. Yeah, he made it. He did a really good job. Okay, Lily, what was your favorite part? The lime yogurt. What was your favorite, Kenzie? I really like the sandwich. I, I really like the cream cheese. Yeah, I like cream cheese and apple sandwiches. I think they're really good. But maybe it's just you and me that like them. It doesn't seem like these guys really like them at all. Let us know in the comments down below what your least favorite food is. What do you really not like to eat? Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today, the Binghams have chosen another fun theme for us, and the theme is things that swim. So when I was planning out this lunch, Ariel definitely came to mind. She is from the sea, of course, and both the Bingham family and the Fudge family are huge Disney fans. So, things that swim and Ariel all in one lunch. So I already added the fruit for today, which is just blueberries and some honeydew melon, which I've cut into the shape of dolphins. Now in this other section, I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop full of goldfish crackers. And then for the main course, I'm going to prepare these fish fingers, which I'm not sure the kids are going to like, I'll be honest with you, but I picked up some of the best fish fingers available. These are actually British style, fresh caught cod fish fingers. So hopefully the kids will like them. I'm gonna go ahead and just give them two a piece to start off with in case they don't like them. To go along with our fish fingers, I've prepared just a little homemade tartar sauce. This is just a little bit of mayonnaise and pickle relish. I'm also including some extra snacks today, which is going to be some yogurt. I have three different flavors here, peach, strawberry, and black cherry. And then these aren't necessarily sea themed, but I am gonna go ahead and throw in some carrots because I wanna make sure that the kids get a vegetable today. And then for a very special, very rare treat, I'm gonna throw in just a few of these Swedish fish. If you've never had these before, it's basically like a little gummy candy type treat. And I know the kids will be excited to see them. And then last but not least, I'm also including a special drink today. But these are actually all different flavors. I have one apple juice, one grape flavored water, and a fruit punch flavored water as well. And then of course, these are extra fun today because they have the aerial toppers on them. Okay guys, what did you think of today's lunch? Things that swim. Uh, I liked it. Uh huh. It was so scrumptious. <laughs> I liked it. But what, you, what didn't you like? Um, kind of the fish sticks. Uh -huh, me too. Yeah. I like the fish sticks. Mackenzie ate both of hers, but both Jackson and Lily, I only convinced them to try one. You didn't like it? Mm -mm. Now, I actually tried the fish sticks and I thought they were really good. And I'm not a huge fan of fish, but I thought they were good. So, some of us like them, some of us don't like them. But what was your favorite part? 
Um, I like the Swedish fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about you, Lily? The sweet fish and the drink. What about you, Kenzie? I like the fish sticks. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello guys and welcome to Friday. For today's lunch, the Binghams have challenged me to use all foods that start with the letter B. So I'm gonna start by heating up this beef and broccoli from Trader Joe's. My kids love the mandarin chicken from Trader Joe's, so I'm hoping that they'll like this too. And I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too spicy. But I'm not sure, we've never had it before. To go along with our beef and broccoli, I'm also gonna go ahead and put in some brown basmati rice. I top it with the beef and broccoli, and let me just say, it's smelling really good. To go along with today's lunch, I'm also including some baby bell cheese. And to make it extra cute, I've used my B-shaped cookie cutter to decorate the top. Next to our really cute lunch boxes, I'm gonna add a scoop of blueberries. And I'm going to add a little baby bear pick for the kids to use to pick up their blueberries. For the vegetable today, I'm gonna to add a little bit more broccoli, but this time it's raw. And I'm gonna add some ranch directly onto the broccoli because I can't find all of my sauce containers. Two of them are missing. I'm gonna have to look for those later. Next, I'll go ahead and put the cheese in there, followed by some banana chips. Next, I'll go ahead and add the treat of the day, which is going to be a brownie bite. I'm definitely gonna remember to put a spoon in there today. The kids will definitely need it. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna give the kids a few of these little barbecue twist chips. They've never had these before, but I thought the barbecue flavor would go well with our bee-themed lunch. And since I'm not sure if they'll like them, I'm just gonna put in a little bit. And that is everything in the lunch today. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. Time to check the lunches. Starting with Mackenzie. What do you think, Mackenzie? It was good. What did you like the best? Um, I really mm -hmm. like the barbecue twists. Yeah, she ate all of her broccoli beef. What about you, Jackson? I like the barbecue twists. And I like the Why you almost ate broccoli it? beef. You ate it all. Was mm -hmm. it too spicy? Uh, no, but it was actually kind of hard to like get it up with the fork. Oh, these ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might have to put the other forks in next time. What was your favorite part, Jack? Um, the uh, barbecue twist. Okay, now it's time to check the lilies. What'd you think, Lily? I'm um, kind of good. Kind of good. You ate most of your broccoli and everything else, but did you eat your... Oh, you did eat it! Good job! What was your favorite part? Brownie. The brownie? <laughs> yeah, those are good. What's that? Okay guys, did anybody guess the theme for today? No. We had broccoli beef with brown rice, broccoli, blueberries with a bear, banana chips, brownies. What was the theme? I don't know. Panda? B. <laughs> yeah, everything started with the letter B. Blueberries, broccoli, brownie. You know why? Why? Because all of these lunches were chosen by the Bingham family, and they yeah. their names were with a B. See you next week. Bye. Okay, friends, this week was so fun. I really enjoyed making the Bingham family's favorite lunches. Don't forget to go check out their channel, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag Luna lunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.